you know, it was such early days that it was there were the constraints of storage space, and I'm, I remember doing hours. I did a 48-hour shift once. Um, only once. Trying to get <laughs> yeah, 48 hours only once. Yeah, I've never yes. done that since. Oh. Thank God. And. Um, well, well, you know, overnights in the facility game was normal. I mm. mean, two or three a week probably. Yeah. And of course, you're not at your best. Um, and, and the best thing I used to find was to say to the client, "This, you know, this is going nowhere because I'm about to go to sleep because yeah. we probably had two bottles of wine by then anyway <laughs> as well." So, yeah. uh, and stop and let's start fresh in the morning. But and that was the truth. But, but if you've but got, it did if happen. you've got space in to book something in the next morning, you know, yeah. sometimes you're up against transmission and someone else is booked in the next day. It's got to be done. Isn't oh, it? absolutely. That, yeah, and that was a discipline of broadcast television. Mm. So, so doing a show like the one I mentioned, which is Mind Your Language, they, we used to start eight on a Saturday morning, and they'd come in with a properly marked up script, mm. and everyone knew which tapes we wanted, and it was marked up. And by four o'clock in the afternoon, you're just looking to see how much you've done and how much is left to do, and if there's enough room on the tape almost, but how many more shots? Mm. And then you had to do the credit roll, and then the director's wife would come in and want it in bigger la letters, <laughs> and then that would waste another hour, and then you had to get it on a bike over to LWT for transmission, literally. Um, and, and so you, there was a discipline in doing that, but when I look back at my own career, what, how did I learn good timing? Well, first of all, by being in the box with directors, but you said it earlier, in live television, you don't go on the air at one second past ten. You go on the air at ten o'clock, and that's yeah. the end of it. You don't yeah. even you think don't about it. Have late planes in, and, in television. You, you have right. to be on time. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And it's amazing how that discipline goes through into the edit suite. Mm. You know, in, and now it's a frame, but it's the same sort of discipline that you mm. grew up with for ten years. Well, so. that's the thing about the new gear. Like when the Avid came in, there's everyone learning how to work differently, isn't it? Yeah. The producers, a, the directors. I do very, very early Avid. I, I, I did find it a bit of a constraint. One of the problems you couldn't shuttle or jog. You could either just go forwards or you could go for one frame at a time and it would play a little bit of sound, or you could go ten, forward ten frames at a, at a time. Um, and, and also, you didn't have a scrolling timeline. Yeah, when, when it first came out, yeah. yeah. In fact, what I used to have to do with the timeline. I would take the timeline window and I'd put it on the second monitor and fill the second monitor and fill it with the whole timeline. So I could actually sit there with my mixer, play it, and I could actually see at least it would scroll, so you'd have the whole program there and you could scroll over it that way. But it was really did come on leaps and bounds by about version four or something, five, when you suddenly had the, 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 the scrolling timeline came in, you could shuttle and jog, and suddenly I could be much more productive and go you know, backwards and forwards and really find an edit point much more much more easily. So um, I've got a question that you've triggered in my brain. What's the longest program you've done on a non-linear format? Non-linear? Non -linear. Yeah. 75 minutes. Uh, maybe yeah, I, d hour. I did a nearly two hour movie and it becomes very unmanageable. Um, that's the, and so what I did was broke it into four bits and did them as, you know, oh, yes. 30 minutes. No, minute that, yeah, well, you wish, you, you would have I found that that was broken down in sections by the, by the length of the tape because I did it on, on Umatic. Yeah. Um, yes. No. It was it's better now, but yeah, back in the old days, everything would slow right yeah, down, uh, slow yeah. to a crawl. Uh, same it, frustration as you is what I'm saying, really, was wanting to see the timeline and see it all working. Or even just pressing play and then yeah. having to wait 20 seconds yeah. for it to start going. Yeah. 